Caleb, Jehovah bless you and bless you forever and ever. And you stay there with your family, with your sister, with your brother, that mom, and Jehovah bless you. Caleb, this is for you. Okay, guys, everybody pay attention, listen to me. We are going to talk about, listen. Fourth grade. Remember, we are learning is more beautiful. Mucho más lindo de lo lindo de lo lindo de lo lindo que es. Heavy, heavier, light, lighter, cheap, cheaper, handsome, more handsome, beautiful, more beautiful, modern, more modern, difficult, more difficult, expensive, more expensive, and dangerous, more dangerous, right? Open your workbook on page number 62. Open your workbook on page number 62. On the page number 62, we are going to pay attention. Read and answer the question. Sandra, she is Sandra. Sandra is at the supermarket. She needs to buy some tomatoes for her mom. This is the first time she will buy food by herself. She doesn't really know how to shop for tomato. Mm. This really, this really difficult. The tomato is in the bucket are bigger than the ones in the basket, but the tomato in the basket are more beautiful than the ones in the bucket. Oh, but they are more expensive than the ones in the bucket. I don't know how to shoot, Sandra said to herself. The clerk sees Sandra and asks, may I help you? Sandra says, yes, please help me choose which tomato to buy. My mom needs them to make tomato soup. The clerk smiles and says, it's easy. You should choose, one, choose the one in the bucket. They are cheaper and bigger. They are not very sweet. So they are good for making tomato soup. Thank you so much. My mom will be very happy to see I got the right tomatoes for her, says Sandra. Okay, guys, so let's continue now. Remember, this is a beautiful story. And now we are going to answer the question, are the tomato in the basket more expensive than the tomatoes in the bucket? ¿Los tomates de la canasta son más caros que los tomates de la canasta? Yes or no? What do you think? Tell me, guys. Yes or no? <laughs> Abdel? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much, Abdel. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, they are more expensive than the tomatoes in the basket, in the bucket, perdón. Mm. Oh my God. Number two. Hello, Sofía. And I can see you. Nada más tengo la mitad de la cabezota. Oh, Dios mío, qué barbaridad. Está dando la clase así. Okay. Next. Number two. Which tomatoes are more beautiful? The tomato in the basket or the tomato in the bucket? Basket or bucket? Ooh, William. Dígame de nuevo la pregunta. Which tomatoes are more beautiful? The tomatoes in the basket 
or the tomatoes in the bucket? Basket or bucket? Basket. Basket or basket? Basket. Why basket? Un bosque. bosque. Basket. Ah, basket. Very good. Thank you. It's correct. Well, by William. All right. The tomatoes. And Adele, you are smart hey, today. The tomatoes in the basket are more, more, como que more, more beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have something in my eyes. Maybe for that I can see very good. I try to see, but it's difficult. Okay. Caleb, which tomato are good for making tomato soup? ¿Cuál de estos tomates son buenos para hacer sopa de tomate? In the bucket or in the basket? Caleb, bucket or basket? Ya, dice, repítame la pregunta, por favor. Which tomatoes are good for making tomato soup? The tomato in the basket or in the bucket? Bucket or basket? Bucket or basket? Bucket or basket? Tiene que escoger uno de los dos. Bucket or basket? Sí. Me estás yeah, interrumpiendo. Oh my God. Tú me llamas para que escuche que te llama. Entonces, Caleb. Bucket or basket? Caleb. Basket. Basket. What do you think, Sofía? Bucket or basket? Bucket. Yes, it's correct, Caleb. It's the bucket. All right, the tomatoes in the bucket are good to, no, for making tomato soup. soup. Debe ser que la llamada tal vez te, te, te trastabilló un poco, Caleb. Fue la llamada, hay que echarle la culpa a la llamada, Caleb. <ríe> Okay, you are famous, Caleb, you are famous. Many people call you, you are famous. It's good. It's good to be famous. Ah, you didn't know Caleb? Yes, I know Caleb. Who's Caleb? He's my friend. Oh, Caleb, you call, call every day. You receive many calls for to you. All right, question number four. Does Sandra get the right tomato in the end, Jose Luis? José Luis, tierra llamando a José Luis, tierra llamando a José Luis. Señor José Luis de León, ha sido ubicado para la respuesta número 8. Ha sido escogido para esta respuesta. Si dice la respuesta correcta, tendrá un premio. Si dice la respuesta incorrecta, no tendrá nada. Señor Ay, José Luis, ¿no es Sandra? ¿Qué es? Does Sandra get the right tomato in the end? Si te digo en español, la vas a responder. Así que muerte la dejo en inglés. Yes or no? Um, yes. Ok. Ya sé que tengo cuando salga, tengo que traerte un premio. Very good. It's yes. Very good, José Luis. It's correct. Ok, guys. Yes. Yes, she does. Okay, she gets the right tomatoes. Mm, it's interesting. In the end. All right. La pregunta era si ella había escogido los tomates correctos al final. Sí lo hizo. Yo pensaba que José Luis no me estaba prestando atención. Mira. Oh, eso fue de pepita, como digo yo, José Luis. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. Everybody writing quickly, please. Come on, guys, falta otra parte.
I need to continue, guys. Necesito continuar. YouTube los espera. Come on, guys. Let's continue. Next. Open your workbook on page number 63. Listen to me. Workbook page number 63. On the page number 63, we are going to look at the chart and fill in the blanks. Oh, I love that part. It's so easy for me. Only you need to follow, follow, follow after me. And you are going to write completely everything. Ah, only time to. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Okay. Look at the chart and fill in the blanks. Listen, she is Kelly. She is a music student. She is from England. She is 20 years old. She is 668 centimeter and she weighs 58 kg. She is Naomi. She is an art student. She is from Japan. She is 19 years old. She is one. 75 centimeter and she is 55 kg. Esta pesa 55, esta 58, esta también delgadita. Esta tiene 19, esta tiene 21. Bueno, esta, porque es una mujer, perdón. Esta es arti estudiante de arte y ella es estudiante de música. Ella es de Japón, esta es de Inglaterra. Ok, and now you are going to fill in the blank. Kelly is a... ¿Qué es Kelly? Entonces nosotros vamos uniendo aquí rapidito, William, por mi tiempo, no me da. Kelly is a music study. All right. It is a music student. Okay. Number two, this she is from. Vamos a ver de dónde es. She is from England. England. She is very young. She is 20 years old. Naomi is an our student. She is younger than Kelly. Naomi is only 19 years old. Kelly is beautiful, but Naomi is more beautiful. Yo la veo borrosa, esa Naomi. Okay, than Kelly. Kelly is tall and thin. Naomi is taller and thinner, más delgada, es verdad, than Kelly. But Naomi is not happy. Kelly is happier. Yes, tiene una cara como si estuviera sufriendo la pobre. Ok, that is completely on the page number. En esta parte vamos a proseguir. Sorry. Ajá, look at the chart and the chart and write the paragraph using comparative. Alden is from USA, math student, 20 years old. Ken is New Zealand, art student, 20 years old too. No, 20 years old. He is 1,086 centimeter 88 kg and 1,080 centimeter 75 kg. Entonces, como vemos aquí la diferencia, podremos usar los mismos comparativos que se encuentran en esta página. Vayan y lo transforman a la página de acá. Pueden usar Allen is, blah, 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 is more than, blah, 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 blah. Eso lo tienen que hacer por ustedes mismos, ¿ok? Y cero, bla, bla, bla. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. 